Welcome everybody, it's Friday, welcome to the Charles Show. I'm here to help educate everybody on a case-by-case -case basis. Please feel free to ask any questions you want. Uh, I just got a question from JT, UCC1308, claiming your, your name, lowercase. So, uh, you got to remember that the Uniform Commercial Code is copywritten, and it is good to know all the codes and statutes if you're going to be enforcing it on corporations, because um, they're bound by it, right? Sometimes, you know, the U.S. citizen can be bound by it if you subject it to certain um, types of uh, uh, contracts and stuff. So, a uh, UCC-1308 is, I believe that is the um, all rights reserved thing. Uh, let's see, UCC-1-308. As smart as I am, I can't remember every single... Provision is commonly used in commercial transactions. Parties protect the rights. Yeah, so again, so if you put a UCC1, anytime you want to use a UCC code, I always suggest putting it inside of a box, and it's only good to know UCC code to bind corporations into things that, that they're bound by. So uh, judges all, all across the world or the earth are trained in studying UCC code. Um, so UCC1308, you, you, you don't... You, you can't really reserve rights for your U.S. citizen because it's basically a franchise of the bankrupt U.S. Um, you as a human have unalienable rights as the sovereign on the earth. And, uh, you know, I always tell everybody, if you want to start trying to write down all of the rights that you as an, a sovereign has, it's going to take you a long time. So depending on what the contract is about for reserving rights... Um, you know, you can you can enforce the UCC one three zero eight, especially if you um, are in, engaged in large contractual obligations. But I wouldn't suggest trying to put that on a uh, like a traffic ticket or some type of other commercial offer that is um, uh, it's just not a very good way to try to handle something. Uh, the lowercase name uh, you you can't claim. You can put a trademark on it and try to enforce it. Um, but you gotta, you gotta know what you're doing. You gotta understand contract law. You gotta understand how to um, basically do procedural uh, enforcement and what is basically admissible as evidence and stuff like that. So, the U.S. citizen is not you. It's not your name. I wouldn't even want to claim it. I actually use it as a buffer, as far as like a limited liability shield for anything that I don't want any any liability on because it's not me and I always actually sign in all uppercase I actually sign as the US citizen or, or you know as the authorized representative of the US citizen so the the US citizen name is just a trust that you can use to engage in contracts with um, but uh, it, it is controlled by the state uh, no matter what you do you know you can dock it if you want that's up to you but trying to uh, basically try to claim it uh, is is kind of crazy. That's like that's like if I created a, um, a business and uh, issued issued you a certificate of that business, and then you try to claim the the rights to it. Like you, you don't because I control it. You know I'm issuing the the um, controlling title to you. So that's what the birth certificate is. Is or I'm not issuing the controlling title. I'm issuing the legal title. Uh, I hold the controlling title. So. You know, when, you, when you're trying to claim a name, uh, if it's not one that you created, uh, because, like, you can't even copyright letters, right? You can, you can trademark letters, um, but, you know, when it comes to trying to claim a name, that's, that's like, it's kind of crazy. You know, you don't want to do that. And any judge will know that you're not very learned at all. It's, it's, that's some of that misinformation stuff. That might, I might need to start writing this stuff down because I could make another misinformation video. Um, once I get like two or three subjects, I'll end up making a video for it. I don't like doing it for just one subject. UCC 1308. My next, I actually have a couple of great videos in the works. Um, one of them is going to be about uh, title to your body. And I have uh, somebody asked the question on, on one of my other videos, can you make a title for your body? And it, and it, and it, gets, it gets pretty complicated. And I'm doing a little research on it before I, before I make it and trying to plan, it, plan out the video a little bit. But um, nature can't be patented. And uh, in, their, in their public system, you can't um, uh, bi biologically, uh, you, can, you can claim rights to like, parts of a body um but your whole body 
you know, it comes down to who created it. You know, you know, it's the same thing as whoever creates controls. So, uh, JT, what are the question you got? People, especially politicians, have a corporation LTT to avoid liability using all caps. Um, so, a, a corporation is a limited liability. Uh, so, <clears throat> according to the Chicago Styles Manual, all capital letters are basically for vessels, graves, for making ex like loud. Trying if you're trying to be loud or something like that. Um, it, it's it's for a dead vessel basically. And whenever you create a corporation, you are separating yourself from the uh, liability of that because all the assets and everything are controlled and owned in that corporation. Now, depending on where you register it, if you register it, determines whether or not it is going to give up subject matter jurisdiction to that corporation. If you don't register it, then you don't have to worry about uh, giving up control unless, depending on the property that you're putting into it. That, that all these things matter, you know, who controls the property that you're putting in it, who, you know, on and on and on. So, um, but the all capital name, all, all corporations are typically styled in all capital name. And, and believe it or not, corporations actually have constitutional rights. You know, that's, that's how flim flammy everything is. Um, it, it just gets kind of nuts. All right, Dell. Uh, your question is so first step to get the living soul out their system so the good news is that you don't have to do anything to not be in their system because they only interface with the dead entities the the corporation you're all ca the all capital name that was issued to you by the state is not you you know it, and it's took me a long time to come to that realization that I'm not a corporation. You know, my, my, my entity, the U.S. citizen, I'm, I'm an authorized representative for it, and I am not that. You know, it's not me. And so the good news is that the human is not actually in their system. The corporation that was created by a U.S. franchise that is bankrupt is and can be in their corporation if you, the authorized representative, decide to start engaging it in contractual obligations, you know, that involve them. That's all you. You don't have to use that entity. You can dock it, never use it again, and just walk away. You can create your own entity to interface with the public with. That's that's up to you. Um, Dell or JT MP MP UK office of Boris Johnson Limited and also full caps name LTD so corporations and he avoids liability in office and politics. So um, office holders uh, so like the president. If you look, uh, Donald J. Trump back in the day when he was when he was president, uh, it, it's actually the office is a uh, kind of a, a, a corporation. It's kind of a and he'll sign in all capital letters and stuff like that, um, which is which is different. A political office can be a, a corporation, just like a, a corporation soul can be a corporation that you can interface with the public with it's just uh an office because it's basically like this it's like a it's like a tier just like you know a triangle behind me the u.s is a corporation all of the states are corporations all of the um municipal uh local cities uh are are corporations and then all of the u.s citizens that are down at the bottom are all corporations too that are funneling money up you know to the to the crown uh, and, and other creditors and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, so it's, it's, uh, the, the office, uh, in order to hold a public office, you have to be bonded and insured. And that is, uh, one of the good things about having an, an office is, uh, if, if someone in an office does something terrible or mess, you know, it, it'll, it'll only affect that office, not the whole branch of, of whatever. So whoever takes a public office usually has to be bonded and insured, um, or, or and or licensed in in order for them to engage in uh, commerce. Uh, thanks for the sharing of the live, Lulu. Hi hi hi. I don't want to interrupt, but I do want to say hey. Well hi. Feel free. You ain't got to interrupt. Um, I go on little little rants all the time, um, talking and helping people out on a case by case. And I'm at the bottom of the list. And if anybody has any questions, by any means, can ask it at any time they want. You know. So that's how this works. Is uh, just me talking. I um I'm trying to recover. Uh, yes, yesterday we had a there was a large event that I went to um, right right near my house, and I had a, a few too many screwdrivers, and I definitely felt it this morning. I was kind of like, dang man, 
That stuff, that, that alcohol is so poisonous. Uh, what's cool is I've been cutting down dramatically on alcohol. Uh, I used to have wine almost every night, and now it's like tag on once every couple weeks. Uh, I'll have a, a drink. But at that event, I was just letting it loose. I was seeing a bunch of old friends, and um, it was a good time catching up with a lot of people and and, uh, and, and talking and chatting and having fun and just letting loose. How's everybody doing this Friday? Uh so, you know, I always say that this live will be on YouTube and the audio will be on my Telegram group. And I thought for sure that re- me recording it myself on the side would be like a fail safe just in case they ever cut my live or they ever like stuff gets interrupted. But they sure enough found a way. They, uh, they hit it with, they hit my last video with a bomb, like so- something, because it was so corrupted that I couldn't even restore it. Like, it's everything glitched out and out of like an hour i only have eight minutes and i didn't even want to post the last eight minutes of my video up on you know my my telegram group because it's like you know you're missing you're missing the whole thing at that point and i couldn't um i couldn't i tried to recover it tried to restore it tried to do it's it's got all the data there i see all the um information as far as the amount of information under the properties but no, nothing that I have I've tried and I haven't like tried to pay for a program because it's just not worth it at that point like try to pay for a program to repair that thing like you know I mean you know the the, the 20 people that'll see it on YouTube and and whoever's listening to my telegram group you know but yeah they found a way to bomb they bombed my uh they bombed my video and I couldn't couldn't do nothing with it so but typically yes this video will be on YouTube and uh, audio will be on Telegram, pending not getting destroyed by whoever uh, hit the hit the hit the button. But now, now I know that it's uh, it's possible to bypass my my failsafe. So well, it's a beautiful Friday. I hope uh, everybody's enjoying themselves. Um, I appreciate everybody. Thanks for all the likes and the shares. And I'm um, here to give lawful guidance not uh legal advice on any and everything also um kind of life coach for nature and spirit and um all kinds of things like i got some great videos in the work coming up um here soon i didn't yesterday was a huge event like i said i normally i try to drop a video on thursdays but it got crazy um lulu to be honest there's probably a patent for that 100 uh patent for what are we talking about uh, all right, so Tori Davis, what do you go under on YouTube? So, so Tori, my like almost all my social media is the same. I have that the Cha Rules name. Um, if you go onto my profile page of TikTok, you'll see a little link with my website, and on my website it has all this auxiliary information. And you scroll down a little bit, it'll have all of my social media links right there, and you can just go over. I, I'm I'm slightly active on Twitter. Um, mainly, mainly here on TikTok, and um, you know, it sucks that I'm shadow banned, but you know they're changing ownership, and you gotta, you gotta comply. I can start clicking on the mic for y'all, try to make everybody happy. Um, but YouTube, like I said, if you if you look up my uh, child rules underscore rules, you'll you'll see a lot of my stuff. So, Lulu, there's probably a patent for destroying files, but oh yeah, yeah. I, there might be, and there's probably. I, I know. I guarantee you that, like, the FBI or some agency can re- recover all that data. And there's probably a program that I could get into to hack. And like, I just there's a point where my time is not worth it anymore to try to involve or invest in trying to restore that file. But they sure enough hit that jank with, with something where I, I tried like four or five different programs, and and nothing would even read it. It would just say you know the format is mp4 but it just would not wouldn't read it all right jt issue affidavit to the seven number principal offices times three for status correct unrebutted now what well that's really cool so now what you can do is you can memorialize all of that on an affidavit say basically this is what happened boom 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 and you can get that recorded if you want to in a county recorder into a court case or something like that and have it certified out and now you have standing okay um depending on what you put on your status you could put anything you want on your status document but that basically is proof. Like I said, you, the human, are already out of the matrix. You're already out of their system. You just use corporations to interface with them. And should you ever have someone that um, 
tries to marry y'all. Like, I have literally watched a judge, and it's, it was so funny. It was a YouTube video. I wish I would have saved it. Um, I watched this guy who was very unlearned trying to uh, separate himself from the straw man, you know, which is, you know, you're not, you're already not that corporation. But um, so he, he started making some statements, and then the judge just did this beautiful little dance because how court cases work is everything that is said in, on, on the record is basically uh, not hearsay. You know, it's, it stands as a fact. And when the judge says something, if you don't rebut, then it'll stand as a fact. So this guy comes in and he's like, you know, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not the straw man. You know, I'm, you know, he's sitting, he's in, he's in handcuffs. So he's ar- he's already failed because when you get to that point, typically the for- the first court case is handled between you and the police officer on the road. Now, almost everything that I talk about and teach does not work if there's an injured party. You know, you can't actually like have somebody that has a, a bona fide claim that got hurt. It just, it's just how it works. Um, then you have to make all parties whole. So, but anyway, this guy was, he's sitting there in handcuffs. He's in front of the judge and the, and the, he's sitting there. He's like, you know, where's my remedy? You know, I'm not the strong man, blah, blah. Very unlearned, you know, has a little bit of knowledge, you know, more than others. But so the judge, the judge, judge was real slick. He does this little dance and he's like, well, you know, uh, for, for the intents of this case, you know, uh, we have the person that is in front of us. So he starts using person. He's starting to go back into the corporation. Then he says, um, like by his third statement, he said, yeah, there seem, uh, the, the person's talking about there's a separation between the, you know, the two or whatever. And, and then like by the third sentence, he, he said, um, you know, but they're going to be one in the same for, you know, something like this. And the guy, didn't, he didn't even rebut. It, but the, the judge just slowly danced him into marrying the the the, the guy talking back to the U.S. Uh, citizen. And it was just it was just such a, a beautiful dance, and it just shows how um, like stuff like that is what judges 101 when they're becoming a judge. Like they watch some of the best stuff on uh, sovereign quote unquote sovereign citizens in court and stuff. I bet they have some of the most beautiful material that they uh, train with and, and, and learn with. Um, all right, so Queen, yeah, yeah. So JT, that's what you want to do to get your uh, your standing. So I teach status and standing. I have educational videos and all this stuff. And I started off talking about how someone said I should redo all my videos that I did in the beginning because I'm much more fluent and more uh, you know personable and better at the making making videos now. But uh, anyway, I have playlists on my profile that can help reeducate you uh, if you start from the beginning. Foundation, nature, and spirit um, in commerce. Everybody just wants to jump on commerce, and that's fine. You'll learn you know you'll learn a whole lot from that. But all, all of them are all tied together for a reason. All three of the lights, all three of the bodies, all three of the jurisdictions. There's there's a reason why I'm laying these foundations so that you can, as a sovereign, grasp them all, take dominion over them, and try to move forward in life, understanding that you are actually one fractal of the Creator that can control and run everything. You know, and if you don't have all those foundations, you'll be lacking in certain areas. But I always say, um, you know, to watch the playlist on my profile page of TikTok, it'll really help out a lot. All right, so JT State and not lost that. Yeah, see, like I say, you're not you're not lost at sea. Uh, if you watch my videos, it'll explain all kinds of things. Um, like I said, I've made the playlist. Some of them were made because I was tired of answering the same questions on my lives, but a lot of them are just kind of created. Where if you're smart enough to put all the puzzle pieces together, you will be unstoppable. You will be untouchable. You will be what you were always meant to be. You know, we, uh, my my education video about schooling literally proves and shows that we are taught in school. And and this is what's crazy, guys. Y'all have no idea how important teaching is. And what they're doing to the children is they literally on that video that. They said in the book the purpose is to get them all to be in one unity, in one mindset, in one thought, to, ha- to be subject and have reactions to authority. Like, that's the first thing that I'm teaching y'all not to. Their, their number one thing and goal for school is to, to have you react to authority, to be submissive. And the first that's the first thing, the goal of their school. And the first thing that I teach is that you are actually sovereign. You know, it's like the complete opposite. It's like a mirror of what everybody, all the sheep are out there being taught. 
So once you can grasp all that and try to undo all those years of indoctrination, you can start to rebuild. And that's why I lay all these foundations the way I do so that you can start to build on them um, slowly. But don't don't try to run. A lot of people try to run. And all, a lot of this stuff seems so good and great when you grasp it and you start getting it and your eyes become open and everything looks like it's all false now once you start seeing. But uh, there, there, you got to be careful. There's a lot of misinformations out there. There's a lot of mistruths that have been purposely put out to cause confusion and division. But it's all about unity. You gotta come from love. You know, that's the, I always preach and teach about the love. If you're not coming from love, that's really all you, you need in life is to learn to love yourself and uh, the creators as one and everybody in, in love and light. All right, Lulu, Del, my apologies. I blah, blah too much and ran your comment out of you. No, I, I'm, I'm slowly getting back to all these things. Mark. Hey, haven't heard you in a while. You are a genius and able to put in layman terms for understand. I appreciate that. I try to. It's, I still have people telling me to, to break it down even more. I had a guy on my YouTube video wanted me to make like a 15-minute video on my um, F, uh, private administrative procedure video. But a lot of the stuff I do on purpose to, to, to give you enough to get going so that you can do stuff like I, I don't I do my best not to do personalized paperwork or, or do somebody's court or stuff like that because it's all up to you you know I'm giving y'all the food and leading y'all to the water and y'all have to put in the work if y'all are interested but a lot of people are only care about if one uh, they have a fire under them to jump just enough to try to reach the next ring and then they're done like it's just how it is um, but we always get deceived in the beginning with all these things. So, Dominus, Dominus, lead us standing, capacity, status, knowledge. Absolutely. That is 100% the way to go. All right, uh, Lulu, just say sovereign, right? No such thing as a sovereign citizen. Yeah, I, I, that's why I always throw my fingers up in quoting because uh, sovereign citizen is something that was put out. I think it was put out by the FBI or CIA or something to, to basically uh, mark and teach uh, law enforcement um, that they're bad guys, you know, and it's not, it's an oxymoron. You can't be sovereign and a citizen of something, you know, that's just how it is. Um, but, you know, your citizen is not sovereign, but you, the human, are. You always are and always will be, but you can always give up those rights by engaging in contracts, you know, depending. Like, a lot of people only think contracts are that piece of paper, but it's not. It's, they start verbally, and you can always practice starting with loved ones at home by learning how to ask the questions. Um, but the, the, the paper is the memorialization of what transpired between the peoples. So, JT, thanks much. Appreciate it. You're very welcome. Slow, solo, oh, solo wolf. That beard is crazy. You've grown so much. Yeah, I know. It's getting, uh, it's getting thicker. My girlfriend said it's, uh, it's filling in. Uh, I don't know how. I've never had a beard before, and I had this funny story where I slept on it wrong, and I woke up and there was like this huge patch that was just like, like this, and I'm like, I, I ain't know what to do with it because you can't cut it. Like if I cut it, I have a huge chunk missing out my beard, and I was just kind of like trying to wet it, just trying to like blow hot air on it, stuff, try to get it back down because um, I, I didn't want that thing like sticking out crazy. Um, but I, I can I can fluff it out like this too, and it uh, I, I look a little wild. But yeah, it's uh, it's kind of you know it's kind of neat. I've never had a beard this big, but it's uh, my girl likes it, so I'm just gonna chill with it. Uh, Dominus Litus sovereign citizens are both are both capacity uh, can't be fat and skinny at the same time. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like a mirror reflection. You know, it's it's it is an oxymoron. Uh, Mark better better workers. Uh, really, uh, Dominus jurisdiction is just as misunderstood as sovereignty. Yes, it is absolutely. It absolutely is. You know, and that's one of the unfortunate things. That's why I'm kind of here to help clear out all the misinformation give y'all the clean slate and the foundations to grow and build upon that's that's what i love about foundations you lay that foundation that can't be shaken you break stuff down to its simple fundamentals and that's how i'm able to express all this stuff you know because I, i've studied for a long time but i have people challenge me all the time i have people come at me saying that you're wrong especially about banking I have so many people that think they can use a 1099 or they can just claim a new car with stuff and, and they haven't gone through the deep, they haven't put the work in, they haven't done the education on banking. You got to understand who controls the games that you're messing with. And once you understand who controls it, if you want to play in that game, understand the rules of that game. We're not taught this stuff on purpose. Literally, our education system is designed to 
get us all blind as sheep and keep keep us divided in classes and like it's just it's crazy but that's how you know being taught is very very powerful mark yeah they're not thinkers lulu they want workers not thinkers nope not at all that's what they want tasteless chef if you've ever admitted if you're ever admitted to the hospital, how does one use the trust to pay for it? Can can you? Um, yeah, so any commercial offer, you can do a grantee acceptance on, and you can appoint a trustee. Uh, in, in the dead public, um, fiat currency and debt is considered an asset. So whenever you do a grantee acceptance on it, you collapse the trust, and you are able to um, do something with that property once you get it. Uh, Dominus Littus, the sheep will spend its life afraid of the wolf when it's the shepherd that kills the sheep. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's wild. I love it. Uh, Mark, stay in honor all the time. Yes, you always want to be in honor and, and come from humbly from love. Mark, yeah, like you have time to do a 15-minute video for everybody. Yeah, um, you know, I have, I have put out like 60 videos or something like that. And uh, a lot of them, the, I think the bulk majority is like commercial stuff. And that's, uh, it all depends on your commerce about everything. It is very true, you know, because, you know, you can't do anything without it. But um, it, it's important to lay the nature and spirit to understand the beginning. Because first is the nature, the natural man, the natural realm. And then you can understand once you start separating that as spiritual stuff. And then you can start understanding how to engage your commerce spiritually in love and peace because that's that's a whole nother whole nother ball game than trying to just operate naturally uh, with commerce. That's everybody everybody gets nature and then just jumps to money, you know. And that's and it's just it's all fiat debt. Uh, Mark, if you do your own homework, then you'll always know it. I'll be locked in. Yep, absolutely, one hundred percent. And a lot of people don't want to want to do that time because it, it, it takes effort, especially since we've been indoctrinated for so long, so many years, and trying to undo all that. Dell cannot be both. No, you can't. Mark, same with conspiracy theorists. I thought they came out with a a, a new thing between a conspiracy and uh, truth or something. Is now the the only difference now is like a couple weeks or something like that. Todd, what's up? How you doing? I'm doing well, man. Nice to see you. Thanks for asking. Thanks for joining. Thanks for coming on. I am coming on a little later than usual. I'm glad I don't have to pick up my daughter, so I'm able to uh, chat and share. But I, I wanted to drop a video, but I, like I said, I'm, work, I'm working on some cool ones. I think y'all are going to really love them uh, once I get out, get them out. Uh, Dell, either sovereign or sister, right, Mark? All right. F thanks for following. Dell, private and public. Yep. Yeah. There's two. There's two sides of the coin. And then when you get in the private, that's where like the the trust and the assets are all on. It's even on the money on the dollar. You know, you can you can see it says public and private on the front, and then on the private side, which is the back, that's where the trust is. You know, everything's in the tr uh, in private. People people love the the public realm. They love the pub. They love playing in it, and they don't understand it at all, and they just go about their business. You know, it is what it is. Uh, JT written in plain, plain English and simple accounting system. Um, all right, what are you what are you talking about, JT? All right, so where did I, I think I jumped? Uh, exactly, modern mechanics of banking. Yeah, yeah, read that book. That'll that'll blow your mind. If you're gonna be involved in banking, I ab absolutely suggest everybody read the affidavit of Walker F. Todd and reading Modern Money Mechanics because. And then if you want to go even deeper, start start learning about the Federal Reserve. Not not necessarily its origins, but you you know that does kind of help when you understand how something was formed and founded but stuff does change but understanding uh its roots uh is kind of you know it's neither here nor there but it will it will it can help you know why not dell negotiable instrument uh yeah what, what do you want to know about a negotiable instrument um you can you can look it up in the ucc code and it'll tell you exactly what it is um and the u.s citizen is not authorized to do certain things so you got to be careful i've watched many people go to jail over the years trying to do international bills of exchange doing bonds doing uh all kinds of stuff that that the u.s citizen is or the authorized representative for the u.s citizen and the u.s citizen aren't authorized to do or allowed to do uh dominius Littis, with your knowledge you should check out albert pike's freemason book interesting similarities with yeah, I, I, I believe it. I mean, this stuff has been going on since ancient times. In my favorite law book, the Bible, it, it, it talks about all this stuff, you know, and that's why I try to tell everybody it's very important. And I'm not saying that the Bible is the only spiritually, divinely written uh, piece of work because literally anything that we do is kind of divinely inspired because we're spirits that animate this flesh frame and without the spirit nothing can happen you know this well not nothing happened but this flesh would drop you know it would just be gone 
Uh, Creative Spirit. Yep, two sides. Money Mechanics. Absolutely. History. Green Book. Kalen Fulton. Green Book. Are you talking? You you mean Greenback? Dell used gore. What is used gore? Oh, used for. Oh, uh, negotiable instrument. What is it used for? Um, so corporations use those all the time to um, come up with uh, payment terms and stuff like that. That's why it's important to understand. You know, look up look up what the commercial code says about it and do research on it. You know. There's been so many times when someone will just ask me a question and I'll just Google it or just look up the code or whatever and then just answer them. You know, it doesn't. I, I help people all the time through DMs, through uh, instant messages, through emails, through you know all kinds of stuff. Um, guys, this video will be on YouTube. If they don't bomb it this time, uh, the audio will be on Telegram group and uh, all my social medias are linked on my profile. That is on my website. My website's linked on my profile page of TikTok. And please, please spend some time. Watch some of my um, playlists. They should, they will help change your world. All right, Handbook of Equity Jurisprudence. Yes, I think I have. I might have something like that in my um, uh, on my website. But if I don't, I would love to get it. Equity, a Handbook of Equity Jurisprudence. Let's see here. Handbook of Equity Jurisprudence. I always suggest equity. Equity. Yeah, I might. Oh, yeah. If if I don't, I got it pulled up now. I got the PDF. If I don't have that on my website, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it up in there on my in my equity folder. Uh, trade own. So what about the remittance coupons for utility bills? So so whoever teaches the remittance stuff like with the IRS, they they teach it all wrong. You got to do a grantee acceptance on it. So. In the public, everybody's taught about duality division and not taught the truth about anything. Just like people think money is worth something, and by by faith of everybody being so blind, it is, you know, because everybody thinks you know it's just debt, and we're just passing around debt. But um, for utility bills, uh, everything's in trust. Everything, money's in trust. The U.S. citizen is in trust. All these corporations are in trust, even if they're called a limited liability or you know a holding company or whatever everything's trust um now when you try to enforce that in a uh you have to do certain things depending on how the corporation was created but it, it takes things to try to enforce the trust of it in in court now when you have a utility bill it's a property that's being handled handed to a trustee and if you do a, a grantee acceptance on it that collapses the previous trust but the property's still there and then you need the five indicia in order to create a trust you have to identify all the parties it has to have property and a purpose boom you've created a trust now depending on what uh, trustee you you identify you can you can ask them in a uh, in the trust you can make indentures to set off settle and close it if you want I have a video on all this stuff. That's why I suggest watching my playlist. It really help. All right, uh, creative spirit. The note and mortgage isn't supposed to be split a transaction at all. Null and void, correct? Um, no. So when when you're dealing in contracts, uh, you got to understand federally, there all these corporations are bound by a lot of stuff. Everybody, by everybody thinks there's a whole lot of flim flam going on, but uh, and there is. If you if you break it all down, it's it's only out of our ignorance that that stuff is is done the way it is but if you break everything down they're going by contractual obligations they're they're registered they're federally insured they're doing they're doing stuff by the books how they were established and given author authorization from congress to operate they are authorized by congress to monetize our signatures the authorized representative for the u.s cit citizen signatures on promissory notes and stuff like that um and you you gotta you gotta understand and break everything down uh, grantee acceptance on bills. Yes, I have a video on that. I think it's um, uh, dang, I don't remember the video's name right now. I'm, I'm, I, I got a, had a slight hangover. Like I said, I had a bunch of screwdrivers last night at a big party, and it's just uh, I spent I spent the majority of the day just kind of trying to get back on track. Um, Dell, so it's true. All our bills are prepaid. Um, all of the bills are are not prepaid. I mean. You're not you're not really even paying them. You're you're kind of setting them off because you're 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 putting. In, in reality, it would be great to look at it like this: when they send you a bill, it's in a box, so it's not really there. The the monetary amount and it's it's a positive number, you know. And that's how a lot of uh, quote unquote patriots try to say, you know, they're giving you money, you know. And it's it's 
how it works, and it would be beautiful if this is how it really worked, is if you give them Federal Reserve notes, which is a debt, it just cancels that positive number out, right? But contractually, how it works is uh, you have signed up for services to be provided, and they provided the service, and in their dead monetary system, they request dead presidents. So you got to find a way to pay it one way or another. Um, Now, you can have a trustee pay it, or you can pay it with Federal Reserve notes, or you cannot pay it. You know, you have your lights cut off. It's all up to you. Uh, Mark, so question, are you a a happier and more engaged in your world looking back of the years breaking free in which ways all right so uh knowledge comes with great uh to who to whom much is given much is required right and that's part of why i do what i do for free and and if you don't believe me i think on average i will make 50 cents per hour on tiktok talking to y'all that is and i don't ask for money at all i always accept gifts but that, you know, that's that's part of what I do. Like, I don't I don't require any payment for nothing. I'm doing this all for y'all out of love. The show ain't for money, you know. And But with great knowledge comes great um, power and how you use that. And, they, and, and one of the sayings is, it's better to be a gardener in a war than a, a – or it's better to be a warrior in a garden than it is to be a gardener in a war, right? So having ha- – the most powerful people have that power reserved and they don't use it. And that's why – I have put out the videos the way that I have in such a way that you have to put some of the pieces together because you can't give loaded machine guns to children, you know, you just can't, you know, so if you take the time and effort to educate yourself and and do the right things and stuff, you can start to learn that you are unstoppable on this earth, especially through trust and equity and understanding peace and love and coming from that position. Whenever you come from the, the position of a belligerent or you come from the position of a combatant, you, you are instantly like an enemy you know and and enemies don't have very many rights when you're operating around now the u.s citizen is an enemy it was classified as an enemy by fdr on one of the executive orders when uh they said any anybody holding gold or whatever so that's part of why the the public is bankrupt and educated uneducated and crazy um but for me i would say um always coming from love and peace was the the most important thing that has shaped my world to be happy no matter what and once i started getting that inner peace of that spirit and getting that love within uh because everybody looks for peace and love without they look for it outside of themselves and it comes off as uh, it gives off a whole different energy than when you see somebody who has their stuff together and i always take the airplane mentality of where you have to secure your own and yourself before you help others, okay? And I wouldn't be here on this mic trying to assist and help all of y'all unless I felt like I was substantially at peace within and able to emanate without to help y'all. Because if I'm, even though even though I had a few too many drinks last night, um, I'm not on my 100 game right now, but I, I love, it just feels good helping because we're all one in this, we're all together and uh, that, that, I think, has been the happiest part of me is it was hard studying for all those years, but when I finally got to my walk after I got fired, and you know they even say there's no respect given in your hometown. Um, once I got fired and got away from my old, uh, old ways and stuff and started my walk to help others, it was cool to finally see everything t- come together to be able to start uh, helping others. You know, that's, what I've been, that's what I've been prepping for this whole time. It's not just for me. Um, Lulu, nope, all of the words just went straight over my head. What? <laughs> uh, Dell, paying a bill with a debt note, so we're just paying the debt. Yeah, you're, you're basically, you're, 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 you're putting, if you're using Federal Reserve notes, uh, a Federal Reserve note is a promise to pay one day. It is backed by the U.S., so you're actually, you're putting it as a debt obligation on the U.S. because the U.S. is supposed to pay it. And if you look at the U.S. national debt clock, all of that debt is what the u.s owes it is massively you know everybody's passing around federal reserve notes like they're assets but they're really uh not assets it's just debt it's just debt of the u.s it is a obligation of the united states um so that's typically why they contract with a u.s citizen and then you pay uh debt with the U- united states uh to to engage in the um services provided but like i said in one of my videos uh, the, the creditors of the U.S. can always come and claim their stuff. So everything that you register to a corporate state is controlled by them. And I tell everybody over and over again, if you don't believe me, don't pay taxes on your stuff, and the controllers will come to get their stuff. 
uh, JT Bills of Exchange Act 1882. That will definitely help. That can that can help uh, understand if you're going to start engaging in that, um, that that type of stuff. Oh, HDR one. So 192 public law got repealed, and it and it's kind of. Um, if you go into my folder on my website under money and look, you'll see like the different codes that you can use uh, if you want to try to uh, exchange dollar for dollar certain things or try to. Uh, the codes are all in there. You know, it's like there's a wealth of knowledge on my website. Joe, thanks for the follow, Mark. But you're invaluable. <laughs> I'm just wanting. I'm I'm y'all. You know, it's just one of these things. Uh, Solo Wolf, get him some like his free info is free crazy yeah i know and i actually think that that's part of why nobody wants my stuff is because i'm not saying hey uh subscribe you have to subscribe to comment on my on my live you have to uh if i was charging people two three dollars to go on my website i'd have thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars you know because i've had i've had thousands and thousands of people on there and and i love that people are browsing around but you got to take the effort to try to um uh, educate yourself just me thank you for the coins much appreciated i love this new setup that they've done on this uh platform because i'm able to see so much better i can see how many people are on here how many people have joined or new followers coins and everything it's just a much better oh it's a rose you sent me a rose cool thank you for the rose um the thing just jumped though let's see here exactly the point uh benevolent mark exactly great point and Inko land, Linko land. Thank you for your time. We appreciate. It. Yeah, thank you for being on here. You know, trying to elevate the consciousness and come to a higher realization of how things work. That's that's basically all I'm trying to do. Is because we're all like children in this game. When you start off, you know, when I first started learning, I was a child. I couldn't I couldn't teach or preach this stuff. Now I could parrot. I could parrot things like. Uh, and a lot of things I was parroting from the teachers who were teaching me who thought that it was the right stuff, and it wasn't the right stuff. It was sprinkled with truth, but it wasn't fully right, like accepted for value, return for value, you know, like trying to do a secure party creditor process, stuff like that. So that's why I make those um, uh, misinformation videos to try to help a lot out. But we're all in this together. Um, so easy for you to say. Mark, get what you give. Yep, yeah, that's uh, that's part of the you know part of the reflection and stuff. Like I I lay my life force and my energy down for y'all, you know, and and it's up to y'all what y'all want to do with that knowledge, you know. And and the the adage is you can lead the the horse to water, but you cannot make them drink, right? So I can show y'all the foundations. I can show you how to, where where to build. I can show you how to build. I can give you all the supplies. I can give you all the tools and knowledge. Here's the blueprints. Boom. Now, how many people are building on it? There's uh there's 40 people on here right now. I mean, so that's that's a good start. But a lot I I've, I have helped thousands and thousands of people and I love it. All right, uh, Mark, citizen person or resident, you need CPR. You talking about um, oh, citizen person or resident? <laughs> yeah, that's funny. I like that. That's a good good quote. Patriot Act didn't do us much good either. Yeah, all that stuff is all like inside jobs to try to implement and to do uh, unmonitored surveillance on everybody, you know, to continue. I I'll be honest with y'all. I'm very kind of, I'm very awake, you know, for number one, and I'm also very observant. And I'm, I'm also very good at putting puzzle pieces together, which helped me a lot on my walk. Y'all have no idea how many cameras are out there watching all the time, how many microphones are on, how many um, trackers, how many, like, it, it, it would... You know, we're already kind of locked into this. You can't do much of nothing without being watched. And when you drive down the road, just look up. Look up. Every every highway has has cameras all over them. Like nobody even sees or knows. Like when they're putting up all those poles and all that stuff, they've got they've got cameras up there. There's like you you cannot you could not use like any any public main road without getting tracked or monitored. If somebody was looking for you, um, Lulu Patriot at yeah. So, Lulu, I'm liking it right now. What do you mean he gave me a platform? What? Did, who said they gave me a platform? I don't. I don't even remember seeing that. All right. Uh, supremacy clause. A founder establishes a foundation by donating the foundations, starting the resource. Yep. Absolutely. That's what I'm doing. Thanks for the insight, uh, Adolf. You forgive me. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate all you. You know, much appreciate. Y'all are amazing too. Believe me. Grand Rising Joey, how you doing? Uh, Dell, hurt us using their debt notes makes us enemies of the state. The U.S. citizen is an enemy of the state, okay? Now, 
I'll, you know, I look at it like this, and this is part of my walk, and I, I've told people a lot. They asked me why I didn't go through the DTC, and part of it, you know, is because it just seemed weird. I have, like, three main reasons why I didn't go through the DTC. The, the, one of them was because at the end of the day, you have to go through a uh, bank office banking. I was trying to reduce the public debt because debt is, is sin. You know, debt is death, you know. And uh, I was trying to reduce the public debt, and then I learned you still have to convert it, your private assets, back into public funds f to e to interact with the public. And it's just like, uh, you know, that 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 blew my whole goal away. Which was, you know, I spent I spent a long time, I spent a lot of time trying to capture the U.S. citizen, trying to take it out of their jurisdiction. I spent a lot of time trying to uh, claim the private assets of it. All these things, you know. Um, JT, I meant to tell you, thank you for the rose, much appreciated. Uh, Mark. Have you seen the price of gold and silver in the last month or two? You know, I have. I haven't looked at it. I have a, a tiny bit of silver and a very tiny bit of gold. And you know, you can't you can't eat it. You can't. You know, it is it is a commodity. And I think by 2028, every all the banks have to be backed by uh, some type of substance. So I, I that's why stuff's going to be crazy here in the next few years because the mon you know the the reserve. I don't think. You know, I, my best guess and my my research is that the Federal Reserve notes are not going to be backed by gold. I think they're going to use a completely different system. But I've also heard that the Nasara and Gasara has been just put out to deceive everybody for many, many years. And it's like it's always coming. It's just like a savior. Everybody's uh, looking up in the sky hoping that someone's going to save them. You know, it, and, and you got it. You, you have to. It starts within. Everything starts within. Self-sacrificing within. You got You got to become one with the with the creators and understand how everything works, you know. Um, but I have not seen the price of gold, but I imagine it's going up. And uh, one of my old bosses that I was talking to yesterday actually said that the Dow jumped up over 40 for the first time or something. But I don't, I don't know. JT, yeah, can't pay a debt with a debt. That's right. Um, but it's it, you know, in the world of the fiction, and the it's all it's all craziness. It's all flim flam. It's all smoke and mirrors in the public. That's why I always try to tell everybody to learn from the private asset trust side of everything. That's where everything's at in the truth. But most people that are asleep can't handle anything beyond that duality in the public that they're all taught. JT, thank you for the for the other rose. Uh, much appreciated. Uh, your gifts will actually be used to help others because I use them to promote my videos to um, enlighten more people. So thank you. OBG for life might as learn how to create negotiable instruments. Now you got to be careful. Uh, you wanna you wanna learn what the U.S. citizen is allowed to do before you start engaging in that kind of stuff because you can always get tripped up real quick. And especially if you don't know how to separate yourself from the U.S. citizen, a lot of people have been taught and believe that they are U.S. citizens when that's just a corporation. And if somebody comes knocking on what the authorized representative of the U.S. citizen's door, what they've done, and you don't know how to, you know, be sovereign or how to come from peace or how to enforce stuff, then you'll get you'll get hemmed up, and your your natural body will be handed over as surety um, to the federal government. Because guess what? The U.S. is a corporation for all monetary transactions. Okay, so that's everything, everything. So if you're going to be engaged in any type of money. You know, and that's how you can tell that the states have been kind of taken over by the federal government is because they're supposed to be using silver and gold. And I actually watched a really great video that said that Texas and some other states are starting to use the gold and silver clause to get to get out of this garbage that we're all in. They're going to start using certificates that are backed by silver and gold. And it should this stuff should be starting to come out in the next few years. Um, so that's going to be, that's going to be neat. Uh, JT, 1099 OID, claim money, IOU back from IRS. Yeah, you're, you're going to jail, JT. You, you, you do that stuff. You have to have a, I have done it successfully because I know what I'm doing. But what you have to do is you have to get an agreement between all parties on any IRS forms or it's going to be fraudulent uh, international crimes like you, you're, you're dealing with the feds they're, they're going to come knocking the IRS and everybody they're going to they're going to start court cases they're going to do investigations on you I've had I've had people invite me to chats and they start to talk about the 1099s and do all this stuff and I'm like I'm out you know and they're like no 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 we'll talk about something else and then later they're like yeah uh, I got a court case filed against me and I'm like yeah yeah I know yeah because you, you're being taught wrong and you're engaged in stuff that you're not authorized to do you know you're going to play with somebody else's game uh, you're charging fifteen hundred. Some who? 
supremacy. I'm not charging nobody nothing. I just, I, you know, if y'all want to donate, you can. I haven't, I haven't asked anybody for a dime. Um, Charles, for president, would be crazy. Well, you know, we're all postmasters of our own posts, and you can become the general if you if you so choose, if you want to start in, enforcing on your own parcel and stuff like that. But who controls the land that you're, you're putting the post in? You, you know, if you want to claim the republic, you can do that. Um, that's operating in the background. Uh, Supremacy Clause ABCs. Supremacy Clause. Read and weep. Sup. 15. What is this $1,500 thing y'all talking about? Uh, a lot of... I, I actually have paid a lot of money for some of these things. And it's not a... Uh, it, it, it doesn't work. You know, these like SBC processes and stuff like that. I got a free one on my website if you want to take it. A for V. JT. A for V. Promissory note. So, JT, watch some of my playlists. I have a video on A for V. I have a video. I have playlists that will help re-educate you. Like, it'll it'll take some notes, start from the beginning, watch Foundation, Nature, Spirit, and Commerce, at least Foundation and Commerce, and um, it'll it'll change your, your outlook on everything. Supremacy Clause, I love you sending light love. Thank you, Supremacy. Much appreciated. Gizmo, have you done a FOI requesting asking for any and all docs stating you're a U.S. citizen? No, I haven't because I'm not the U.S. citizen. I never was, and I don't need anything about it. And if somebody asks me if it's my signature on a document, I will ask them um, if uh, they're authorized or capable of uh, – well, first I'd ask them if is there a defect in the instrument would be the first thing. Then the second thing I would say, if, if it's my signature, why do you have it? And that's what I would say. Um, but I, like I said, I like signing in all capital letters. But anyway, the U.S. citizen, no matter what they try to do or throw at me, it's not me. It's just a, it's just a corporation that um, I'm the authorized representative for. And depending on what I engage it in is depending on what I have to deal with. All right, so Gizmo. I have not done the FOIA, um, you know, because that's just more playing in the world of the dead of them. Same thing with doing like the uh, master file with the IRS, everything that the U.S. citizen been engaged in, and I have I have looked at um, this. It's so funny that everybody talks about that. Might be something else that I need to do a, a, a misinformation on is the um, do not detain list. The do not detain list that is a homeland security that says you're a terrorist um, that everybody tries to shoot for and go for, and it's like. It's, I have a picture of it, and I have a, a, somebody I want to talk to about it. But um, Cooper's going to skyrocket? What does that mean? Supremacy Clause. I can flourish. Can you join on our Maroon Sovereignty Government platform? We watch a lot of your videos. I can check it out. Do you have a website link that you can DM me or something like that, and I can check it out? Mark, at least 23% gains. Oh, yeah. You know, it's funny. That's, that's actually kind of wild um, because I looked at the value of my home. And it has gone up 25% in the last three years. And that's, that's, quite, that's quite an insane jump uh, for three years to go up 20. That's, that's a heck of an ROI. Most people try to shoot for like 7 or 8% ROI on, on you know, a three or four year note or something like that. Yeah, that's crazy. Or, or like investment. Uh, OBG for life. My guess, it will be Bitcoin or crypto backed banks. Yeah, I think it's going to be a digital uh, asset backed uh, digital type of currency. Uh, Mark, 40K. What is... Oh, 40K? Wow. Yeah, it's definitely going up. Uh, Supremacy Clause. I am living, breathing, natural woman. Yes, you are. 100%. God trusts me with this property. Yes. That's actually going to be on my video where the guy asked about making a title over his body, over his natural body. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a video about a title, a title to your natural body. And I'm doing a lot of research on it because it, de it deals with... Uh, uh, nature being patented, um, mRNA tech, it deals with titles, it deals with uh, Supreme Court cases, it deals with uh, title to biological property, it deals with the title to your child that I, uh, on one of my videos I explain how to do, uh, enforcement and all kinds of things. So it's, it's going to be an interesting video. I just, I've been really busy and I'm making, I'm, I'm kind of having fun making this other video that uh, I want to release. Uh, but anyway, Mark, exactly... Mark JFK, he tried it with the silvers. Yeah, you got it. a lot. A lot of people that have tried to go away from that um, that banking system have gone into some trouble trying to get away from that that Federal Reserve, uh, from trying to have a central bank, uh, one bank. Nelly J, thank you for the heart. Much appreciated, uh, James. Lol. Thanks for the sharing of the live solo. 
Supreme calls no dear other people. Oh yeah, yeah, they are charging a lot of money. Uh, like I said, I paid I paid back seven eight years ago. I I paid a thousand dollars for the SPC process, and y'all can have it. it's free on my free on my website. Like it's garbage. Um, anyway, not me. Yeah, I don't. Do you have a Telegram chat? Yes, I do, Pat. It is located on. All right, so I'll do the spiel. This uh this video will be on my YouTube channel. The audio will be on my Telegram group. All of my social medias are linked on my website. My website is linked on my profile page of TikTok. I also have playlists to help re-educate you. If you go on, uh, look at them. It's Na Foundation Nature Spirit and Commerce. They're also linked on my uh, website as well. All right, uh, love you too, man. What's going on? You're such an asset to humanity these days. Yeah, this the times are crazy. I mean, I always listen to how there's not been any um, types of uh, promotion for the election that's going on. I've heard, you know, the money is just changing up crazy. Markets are, are, are going weird. It seems kind of stable right now, but, you know, what they say, the quiet before the storm sometimes. I don't know what's what's going on, but it's uh, stuff is getting it's getting kind of wild out there. It really is. Uh, not not me. Yeah, other people are. I did not. Yeah, I understand. I got, I got you. Sorry it took so long to get down to your message, Supremacy. Um, um, I do go. When I'm talking, I don't scroll because I don't want to miss any questions. Okay, well, I'm not IRS textable. Yeah, you, you as the human are not, but if you're going to be engaged in someone else's property like Federal Reserve notes or you're going to engage your corporation, your U.S. citizen, into contractual obligations with a corporation who's federally registered and controlled by others, then you're going to start engaging in that play field. you got to be careful, especially if you're working for profit in a federal zone. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, then you need some, to do some homework because if you're going to be engaged in for profit in a federal zone with a Federal Reserve note, guess what? The U.S. is a corporation for off all money transactions if you're going to deal with their money okay now you want to start dealing in silver or trading or bartering or, or something like assets you're good um copper yeah copper is real good for you i actually tried to start taking little supplements for my grays because this i don't know what it is i don't know if it's been because i'm helping thousands of y'all but this last year i've definitely got a few a uh, few extra grays like been popping up uh mark eight percent Mark, you're making three times what you're doing, really. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. With well, the stock market went over. So, you know, and, the, and what kind of I, – I, I play in the stocks a little bit. I don't like gambling, and it is kind of like gambling, but I, I, I put it in there only because the banks give you a 0.001% usury tax. When you, when you deposit something, you're actually deposing yourself of the currency. And that's why the banks can take and do whatever they want with it. They invest it, they flip it, they fractionalize it, they do all kinds of things of the money that you depose yourself of. Now, I try to tell people that money is neutral, you know, because you can do good or bad with it. You can feed people with it, you can help people with it, you can, you know, you can do it's, or you can hurt people with it, you know. And it's just that's that's why in their legal system, that's what they control everybody with is that money. And and the truth is that we're not bound by money, but. Everything you got to remember that the the bankrupt U.S. is you know the states are corporations under the U.S. The, the cities are corporations under the state, and then all the little other corporations that are registered are all they're all dealing in debt, and it's hard to um, get out of that, especially when like 33% of everything you you make is going to the creators and controllers of the of the Federal Reserve, and um, you know we used to have all this great knowledge and. Uh, everything got automated and and everything is about commercial and corporate interests and it's hard to get out of that game especially when you don't have much to rub together at the end of the day and everything is by design to keep everybody down and not able to to breathe you know it's just it's how you keep a population in control now a person individually can be taught one-on-one -on -one, and that's what i do all the time in equity but people in, on the mass psh, they ain't they ain't going very very far um, but yeah, the stock, they, they were talking about doing 40, oh, 45% on unrealized gains or something like that. Um, that, that kind of sucks, but it's still more than what the bank will give you with the 0.001% if you're, uh, deposing yourself of it. Uh, Q, letter P on your passport, person, pop, slave, how to change to diplomat. Um, so you can, you can, you can request a passport as a national and, for, I don't know what the stars mean. I've asked certain people. I believe it means how um, much of a security risk you are. But you can you can get a passport as a national, you know, if you want. 
um, but that's still a corporation. You have to use a corporation to interface with the dead and the public with, okay? And it's up to you what corporation you want to use. You can use the U.S. Individual Trust Citizen Corporation. You can use a C Corp, S Corp. You can use a corporation sole. You can use a limited liability. You can use anything. But I always suggest trust because that's where all the power is. Mark, look back in 1929 when they had the great stock market fall prior to it. They pumped it up and up and up. Yeah. And, and it seems like the inflation is what's, uh, what's getting ready to happen, you know, I mean, for the, for the bubble to pop, you know, it's because it's, it, something's coming within the next few years because, like I said, all the banks are, have to be Basel IV compliant, which means they have to be backed by some type of commodity, and I don't think the Federal Reserve is doing it. I just don't think they're going to do it. Um, James Moore, IRS scan copyright? What is what does that mean? Irises scan? Oh, you talking about like scanning your, scanning your irises, like copyrighting your eyeballs or something? Is that what you're talking about? Mark, yes, he tried to switch to the treasury, which is an oh yeah yeah yeah. So if you look at if you look on the uh, one of the Federal Reserve notes, there's there's a public and private, and there's uh, two different uh, players on that note, and they have to have signatures in order for them to have any value, and one of them is for uh, for private, and one of them is for public. All right, so thanks for sharing the live solo, Little Wolf. Uh, Supremacy Clause, wow. Alexandronia, hey, how you doing? I didn't know you had a telegram. I will go look for it and share some books on it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I'd love that. You can also, um, you could also, we could post them on my website for others too sometime. Now, I did recently, I, I, I deleted Telegram from my phone because it had it was taking up like 10 gigabytes of, of data. And I was getting to where I had this great, I was with my girlfriend on this thing and I couldn't take photos. And I didn't even have a lot of photos from my history because I, I removed them from my phone every month. And I couldn't even take these great photos that I wanted to take because I didn't have any data. And, I, and it kept happening. I finally just deleted te Telegram. It's on my computer. I still use it on during the work week, but I wouldn't. Don't try to reach out to me during the weekend on Telegram because uh, I ain't gonna hit it till Monday. Uh, sex relations, uh, okay. Yo, yo, yo. What's up? Supremacy clause. The corporation was dissolved in 2020. I have the court document. That's, that's cool. Yeah. A lot of the a lot of the uh, fraudulent public and the way they're acting out there is just you know it's it's nuts. When you start breaking stuff down and you, you go through the smoke and the mirrors, it's just somebody pulling levers. The Wizard of Oz, you know, you get through all the stuff, you know, you can get your heart, you can get your courage, you get your uh, Tin Man, you do all, you know all that stuff, the tax identification number, um, Mark, and I cannot. Who makes the laws? Hold on, M. Roth, hold on. Uh, jumped. All right, Mark. M. Rothschild in 1800 is quoted to give me the ability to curl a church. Yeah, yeah. That is that is absolute um, a good quote. And another one is um, uh, control everything and own nothing. That is the way to operate. You know, do do what the people who have established all these things that keep everyone locked do what they do. Create your own stuff to control things. You know, create your own trust. You know, it's not you. It's it's a it's a trust. Um, I hold on. What did you say? I let me go back. I see. I see you rewrote. I scan copyright. Okay, yeah, yeah. that's that's what uh, I was thinking. You meant. Are you talking? You know, you just made a statement. Are you talking about you want to copyright it? Because I can tell you, whenever you, uh, Gizmo, thanks for the dinosaur. Much appreciated. Your gifts will be helped to use others. Or you're sorry. Your gifts will be used to help enlighten others. Um, so, are you talking about? Uh, here's what happens on these applications, and it sucks. And this is why I like contracts that you can write on. Whenever you download an app, it's just like accept all the terms or not. Like, that's it. And if you don't accept it, you can't use it. But whenever you're like, you scan stuff on a phone or your face or whatever, you're giving up the image and your and your rights to it to allow them to use it. And a lot of times they say that they can use it. Like, I'll go to I'll go to these places all the time, like uh, iFly, for example, where you get in the tunnel and stuff like that. They always say that, and, and I just, I clicked okay, but... Um, they always say that they, they can use your rights and your image and all this stuff for all kinds of things. And if I have the paper contract, I always scratch that out. And I'm like, you're not using my, my stuff, you know. Um, I The corporation was all Okay, hold on. I went back. I, Alexander, okay, cool. Yeah, I think I've seen you just, you just hopped on. My Telegram, thanks for joining. 
Uh, Pat, where can I find the steps I need to get started? So, Pat, I have playlists on my profile that can help you. Uh, watch them in order. Foundation, Nature, Spirit, and Commerce. I also have auxiliary information on my website. All this stuff took me like 10 plus years to get. I have thousands of videos on there, and I have thousands more, uh, more to, to load up. Um, I've been downloading a lot of them from TikTok. Uh, Alexandra, LOL. I was like, wow. <laughs> okay. Mark, Charles, you're a rock star for being able to keep up with his comments and keep it personal. Yeah, you know, and sometimes I've had it crazy. I, I look down sometimes and I'll have 20, 30 comments and I'm like, here we go. It's good. You know, I, I got to start trying to wrap up. I try to do spend personal time on everybody's questions. And that's what this is for is for y'all on a case by case basis. I have people wanting to join my live and stuff. And then it just becomes me and them chatting back and forth. I did it once and it was like somebody's chewing on ice, you know, uh, a cereal and stuff like that. And I'm like. I can't really help a lot of people when I got this guy over talking about frogs and this girl's over here chewing on cereal and, you know, just, but anyway, uh, Gustavo Renaga, you should make a video with Brandon Joe Williams. I don't know who he is. Um, if you can send me a link or something or a video or something to my DMs, I'll, I'll check it out. I don't have a whole lot of messages backed up on my, tele, uh, in my DM box right now, so. It, sh it shouldn't take long, but sometimes I ain't gonna lie. It'll take me a couple of days uh, to answer an email. It'll take me a couple of days too, because I got two kids that are four and five, and they're crazy and constantly needing stuff. I got an ex. I got a girlfriend. I'm managing all kinds of properties. I got a website. I'm making videos. I'm going live. Like uh, I just got stuff going on. But um, I am at the bottom. Have I? I've been, I've been on here for an hour already. This is crazy. I can't believe the hour went by so quick. Um, so if y'all ain't got no more questions, I'm probably going to wrap up and I'll post this thing on, um, my, I'll post on YouTube and on uh, Telegram and stuff like that. Uh, Cloud Charles, is it possible to take care of our mortgages through trust? Your mortgage is already in trust. And if you go on my website under home, I have some great audio and information on there that can help you. Uh, Kaylin Fullington, do you know Joe Ch Lust Lustisa? No, I don't. I haven't heard of him. Mark, love it now because when you get old, you'll look back at these will be great. You know, it's funny is I actually look at these as kind of like a diary because everything I go through, like I'll just, uh, when, when I have downtime in the beginning, I'll just talk about what happened in my week. So like all these videos that are logged, I think I have like 48 or 50 or something uh, that are on my uh, YouTube and on my Telegram and all that. And it's, it is becoming like a um, like a, a, a video log of a diary of everything I'm going through while helping y'all too. So it's kind of cool. Oh, thank you so much for the rose, Chastity. Thank you very much, beautiful. Um, all right, so if anybody else doesn't have any questions, uh, I am going to wrap up, and we will call it a beautiful. Hope everybody has a great weekend. Thank you all for the shares, the likes, the follows, the, the coins and stuff. I appreciate it very much. Um, hey, Charles, this is... Hey, Charles, this is Charles. Great name, brother. Any knowledge on child support? Um, yeah, I have a video on title of child, if you want to watch that. Um, it's in my playlist on my profile that could probably help out some and if not if you want more you can DM me and I help everybody on a case by case as they uh, DM me and all of my consulting is free so take advantage of it anyway guys love you enjoy your Friday it's beautiful where I'm at I'm getting ready to start the weekend thanks for the follows likes and shares and I'll catch y'all next time alright have a good one